They thought we were here for a Nick funeral at Madison Square Garden with the Heat coming in up three to one. But the Knicks' big three had other plans, folks. R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and 48 minutes of Jalen Brunson is what these Knicks needed to hold off the heat and hold off they did, man, because in the fourth quarter, it was a Duncan Robinson show that got the heat back into this. And then a cardiac Nick affair down the stretch where the Knicks, unable to execute, had the guarding crowd sweating it out. But the Knicks were able to get the timely, timely buckets that they needed and the timely stops, man. 112 to 103. Knicks live on to fight another day. And look, man, you know, we were talking about some of the adjustments that Tibbs might make. And the first thing he started with was uh, 48 points from his floor general, 48 minutes from his floor general, Jalen Brunson, man. Brunson, 38 points. Nine rebounds, seven assists, 12 of 22 from the field, man. Once I saw him in that second quarter, fellas, I already knew he was playing for the whole game. This is a 48-minute mm-hmm. affair. It's do or die. We got no bench help. Josh Hart was just all over, all in his feelings. He, he was in the non-factor in this game whatsoever. No quickly. So we needed Brunson to give us a go. And, you know, it's interesting because when I when I, when I I looked at this game, I said, you know, the first quarter should tell us everything. Do they have it or do they not? And the first quarter went like how most of these games have gone. Miami, the aggressor on the boards. Miami shooting out of the gates on the second chance points. Knicks turning the ball over uncharacteristically. Ten turnovers in the first half. But they were able to settle in. As I said, Brunson took over in the second quarter. Give credit to Julius Randle. He was outstanding in the third quarter, both as a scorer and a facilitator aggressive getting to the basket i thought rj barrett had a solid game overall once again another efficient night for rj barrett and that's what you needed man the knicks big three literally put this team on their back and got the win man still like old new york knicks basketball man we haven't seen any of this for the last couple of games down in miami so it was great to see these guys bounce back but you mentioned that jalen brunson played for 48 minutes how about our guy quentin grimes playing for 48 minutes Quentin okay, yep. you got to give him a shout out too. And uh, you know, the last time you had two New York Knicks playing 48 minutes together, we have to go all the way back to 1972, fellas, with Jerry Lucas and Walt Co- Quiet Frazier. But solid effort from both of those guys. I mean, defensive intensity was there. We dominated on the boards. Look, we got 50 rebounds tonight to the Miami Heat's 34. So that was good to see that we're back in favor of that. We had 14 offensive rebounds to the Miami Heat's 11. So when you start to control the glass that we saw from New York Knicks through the regular season, what we saw against the Cleveland Cavaliers, that's where you can know this is going to be a good favor for for our team. Jalen Brunson, though, masterclass performance. I got to be rocking the I got to be rocking the eleven jersey tonight, fellas. I got to be rocking the eleven jersey tonight because this guy was in his bag. Absolutely, didn't matter who was in front of him. Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler. Didn't matter if Cody Martin was there either. This guy was going to get his, and that he did. Thirty eight points. 38 points in 48 minutes. Give it up for number 11 tonight because we, without that type of performance, I don't know where the New York yeah. Knicks are tonight. Okay. So if you, if you love what you saw from Jalen Brunson, throw a window emoji in the chat for uh, a window on, YouTube, emoji in the chat. on the YouTube, on the YouTube channel in the bleach report app, actually in the bleach report app, hit that fire emoji. I want to see some fire emojis right now. If you're in the bleach report app. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and CP, you talked about it way to bounce back. For Julius Randle. The effort was there. The scoring was there. How how it had to end on a Julius Randle hustle play at the end of the game to seal the deal. How it all comes around, right? How it all comes around. You see what the difference that one game makes. The difference that one game makes being able to be the home team tonight for this series. Win one, you come back for game seven and Jalen Brunson said, "Uh, uh, uh-uh-uh. He just would not let his team lose tonight. 48 minutes, man. How, oh, CP, how many, how many minutes are in a game? 48, sir. 48 minutes. Play the whole game. Would not allow the team to lose tonight. This is, you talk about a superstar performance. This is a superstar performance by Jalen Brunson. 
38 points, 10 free throws. He got to the free throw line 12 times. You talk about him. It was reported by Ian Begley today that he he's getting around the clock treatment on his yeah, ankle. Yeah, yeah. And and you know what's crazy is that even in this 38 performance, you still see him have trouble getting by certain players. What do when he was healthy? That shows to tell you how much of a warrior performance this was. The Knicks come out of tonight with a lot of confidence when they look at the way that Randall performed, when they look at the way that Grimes performed, when they look at the way that Brunson performed. There's things to take with you to Miami, and that's with Josh Hart not having a great game and the rotation now even shorter without Emmanuel quickly. So that's the positive to shock the world is there's a lot of things you could take from tonight to maybe steal a game in Miami. So listen, I told you guys last time I called it, if we just get game five, now the pressure's on the heat. Now hear me out. I know we're down. I know we're still on the brink of elimination, but we've known that for the past couple of days. That feeling, we're numb to it by now. The heat looking into game six, they better win that game. And I'm sure they're feeling that way. All the pressure's on them. We're still playing with kind of like, I don't want to say house money, but yeah. we're numb to the feeling of being, being on elimination. We've already weathered that storm. Yeah. The heat got on game six. If not, this could get, you know, let's come back to the garden. I think I like our chances. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not going to say I'm confident that we'll win game six, but we got a shot. There's just one thing that we have to stop doing, and we talked about it, but I don't think we talked about one of the effects of it. Doubling Jimmy Butler. Now, when we double him and we overcommit to him, mm -hmm. not only are we running around and chasing shooters, but on top of that, that's why we're not getting rebounds. When you've got three, four guys running around the perimeter trying to get a shooter, that's what's opening up the rebounds. Miami is not necessarily muscling us for rebounds. Getting caught it's in just, the scrambles. Exactly. We're scrambling around. We're running all over the court. I mean, literally, oh. you watch it. They're just in scramble mode. So when you got like three, half of your team scrambling around the perimeter, nobody's below the rim to get that rebound. And on top of that, they're gas. You know how tiring that has to be, like running got around the court like that? Got, got play, me, man. The play, it, it catches up to you. So that's one thing we have to stop doing. And listen, if Jimmy Butler hits a fadeaway baseline shot, whatever, man, you tip your hat off and you keep it moving. He's not going to keep on doing that, baby. And great win tonight, man. Now we just got to do it two more times. Yep, yep, yep. Look, man, uh, Quentin Grimes just gave us one of those moments in Knicks history, man. You know, we had Willis coming down the tunnel. We had Houston hitting that shot to send Miami out of here. And when he got injured, it looked like he hurt his hamstring, uh, uh, you know, talking to the last caller. It looked like he hurt his hamstring more than he hurt his knee. That's what I thought it was, at least. But anyway, him getting hurt and coming down and still getting that steal on Jimmy, that was amazing, man. Yeah. That was an Pretty. incredible part of the Knicks history, if you ask me. And R.J. Barrett has shown us what he is, man. He's shown his salt. He's shown his metal here in the playoffs when it matters, in money time, like you say, man. Money time. This ain't the regular season. This ain't no other time. He sucked the regular season all year. Yeah. But when it matters, in money time, he stepped up. That's what we need from a player. More than anything. I, I, I don't care if you suck all season if you're going to perform in the playoffs. Yeah. Now's when it matters. Money time. And Stepping up. Listen, man, this game, cardiac Knicks, man. It had us on the brink of our seats, had us all going crazy, but to come out like this, <laughs> it feels great. Even if we lose this series, at least we fought. We didn't yeah. go out like suckers like I thought we were going to. Yeah. At least and, we and, fought, and, man. And we got our 53 wins that we predicted all season. And we got look, our 53 wins tonight. And, and your, be <laughs> your best players got you there, you know? Yeah, man. That, that's all you could ask for. They left it on yeah, the line. Man. The best players did what they had to do. Julius had an eye jammy, you know? He still stepped it up. He was passing well, shot the ball well. RJ and strong. didn't get a foul on that call either. And didn't get a foul. Fucked in the eye and still didn't get a foul. Yeah. And didn't get a foul. And they were able to recover because, you know, they were, again, making some boneheaded, boneheaded decisions in the first quarter. And I'm just like, damn, this is not looking good. Because this looked like the same patterns that we've been seeing. Uh, but they were yes, to weather the storm, man. Appreciate it. All right, man. Once again, remember that these shows are available in audio podcast format. No reason to miss it. Catch us on all the major podcast platforms. And we will see you to uh well later. We will see you later for our game six preview, man. Knicks 
are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned for that, man. Game previews have always been uh, very insightful to break down what's going on in the series. So look out for that. And we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time, man. Al, great show. Daniel, JD, great show. Gambo, Tyler, everybody, great show, man. Peace. Here comes Jimmy Butler and the double screen. No call. Here comes Kayla Martin. Grimes is down. Grimes is hurt. Martin, 10 seconds in the shot clock. Grimes is hurt. Butler, five seconds. What toughness for Quentin Grimes. He gets the turnover, and he's still limping. He's not right, and he fights. Barrett drives, alley-oop, no good. Randall gets the ball in the corner. Randall is trapped to Grimes. And the Knicks are going to call the timeout. That might have been the highlight of the year. Gravy time for Quentin Grimes on defense.